What is up guys and welcome to yet another tier list video. I am your host PC Keen and today we are ranking yet another Pokemon type, this time being the flying type. We are ranking every single flying type Pokemon from gens 1 through 9. And before we start, real quick, I mentioned this in the last tier list, but I think the reason why these lists have been hard for me is because I've been trying to compare Pokemon in reference to other Pokemon on spots on the list. So, instead of doing that from here on out, we're just going to base them on letter grade only. So, if I think it's an S, it's going in S. I'm not going to, like, put it above other Pokemon or anything. So, hopefully that'll make this a little bit easier for me. But without further ado, let's uh, get started. Alright, so to start, we have Gen 1. We got my boy Charizard. If you saw my Fire-type tier list, you already know where this is going. Going in S all the way, putting all of them in S. Uh, OG Charizard is going to be the best one. And, well, it, okay... We're not doing that. Sorry, I, I had a brain fart. We're not doing that. So, uh, there we go. They're all S-tier to me. Um, Butterfree? Uh, I kind of like Butterfree. Um, I would say probably a S uh, You know what? No. I'm going to put a B for Butterfree. I'll put Gigantamax Butterfree there, too. Um, I think G-Max Butterfree is one of the best G-Max Pokemon in terms of uh, battle capabilities. But in terms of just overall design, not that much better than OG Butterfree. So, they're both going B. Uh, Pidgey, I would say, kind of a C. Um, Pidgeotto as well, Pidgeot. Eh. Yeah, they're, well, no, I'd say Pidgeot's probably a B. Not, not by a whole lot, but by a small margin. Uh, Mega Pidgeot, same thing, probably a B for me. Uh, Spiro and Firo, I think I rated these a D in my normal type tier list. I think I'm gonna stay with that opinion, so, um... Well, I'll put Spiro in D and then Firo in C, I think. I don't know. I, I think Spiro just looks too basic-y for me, or... Well, mm, Hold on. Having thoughts now. Um... Hmm. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna say Spiro's a D. Or, sorry, a, a low C. In terms of a flying-type Pokemon, I would say... Yeah, they're, they're both a C. As normal types, though, they're kind of just a D for me. Uh, Zubat and Golbat. Um, I like them. They're, they're good. I would say probably a C for both. Um, I don't really love them that much. I mean, we, we, we do have a, uh, an emote here on, uh, YouTube where it's just Zubat. But, um, that's not quite enough to make it higher than a C tier for me. We can't, we can't judge Zubat based on a fucking emote. So, um, Zubat and Golbat are a, uh, solid C, uh, C minus for me. Uh, Farfetch? I like Farfetch. Probably a B. Um, well, actually, no. I would say a C. I, I would say a C. Um, I think Farfetch, the, the whole leak idea is cute and all, but design is really basic, and it's not really talked about that much in terms of, like, other flying-type Pokemon. It's, it's good, but not great. We'll put it at that. So, uh, solid C for Farfetch. Uh, Doduo and Dodrio... Uh, I would say probably a C as well. I think Dojo's maybe a B. Um, nah, probably still a C. I do like the dual and triple head thing, but design overall, besides that, is uh, pretty basic -y and uh, they're just alright, so we'll put them there. Scyther, though, is probably the first A, I would say. I've always loved Scyther. I think the bug type is, uh, or sorry, the whole bug flying type fits a lot better than Butterfree. Even though Butterfree can actually, like, like you know, is a butterfly and Scyther, like, you wouldn't think Scyther could fly, but it can, but Scyther's cool, man. Like, I don't think, I think very few people actually hate Scyther. If you do, you're a psycho, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm putting Scyther at A. Uh, ooh, Mega, wait a minute. Oh, right, okay, I think, I think normal pincer is just bug type, right? And then Mega pincer is, uh, bug and flying. Um, so in that case, I would say design is really, really good. I would say probably a B. Um, I think OG Pincer is probably a B too, but, uh, Mega Pincer is definitely a B for sure. Um, very intimidating, and I love the horns, like, being more, uh, complex and the wings that it spreads out, so. Uh, solid B for Pincer. Uh, Gyarados. Here's the thing. Gyarados should not be a flying type. It should be a water and dragon type. Not even the freaking Mega Evolution, which is not on this list for because it's a water dark type. Not even the Mega Evolution is a is a dragon type. Like why? Gyarados should be a freaking water dragon, not a flying type. Even if it can fly, it's got no wings. 
Like, uh, I don't know. But anyway, it's still an S. Like, I love Gyarados. So, yeah. Uh, Aerodactyl is probably an A for me. Uh, both forms are. Always loved Aerodactyl. Um, one of the best fossil Pokemon, in my opinion. Right up there with, um, uh, Archaeops and, uh, who else? Um, uh, I forgot who else. Uh, Armado is a good one, but anyway, that's getting off track. But, uh, Solid Ape Aerodactyl. Uh, Articuno? Mm, uh, I would say probably... Uh... See, here's the thing. I think Articuno, for me, is the worst of the legendary bird Pokemon from Gen 1. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a hot take right now. I think Articuno OG is a B. I think Galarian Articuno is probably an A. I think this form is really, really cool and just... The, the whole mask it has going on and the different uh, color it's got going, like, I gotta say, like, they they overall nailed these Galarian forms for the birds. Um, speaking of, though, Zapdos is definitely an A for me. However, I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of Galarian Zapdos. I think a lot of people probably aren't for obvious reasons. Um, the, the gimmick is good, I would say. The gimmick is okay, but it's just... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say a B for Glarian Zapdos. I'm not a huge fan of the Roadrunner game, even though it is kind of cool, but... I don't know. I, I kind of prefer Zapdos being in the air. So, yeah. Uh, Moltres is definitely an A. Galarian Moltres is definitely an A. Maybe, like, right up to where an S is. Um, actually, you know what? No. I would say it is an S. I... Like, I don't know how they did it, but they made a better Moltres. The whole, like, black and red going on... So good. And it's like a dark type now. Like, yeah, I lost its fire typing. That kind of sucks. But just that design, man. It's so good. Like, you can't argue with that. So definitely a uh, an S for Glare and Moltres. Uh, Dragonite, same thing. Love Dragonite. Um, just his moveset is pretty diverse. He can wear like ice type moves and fire type moves and electric type moves and other kinds of moves. He's just an overall, like, very good mixed dragon type. Like... He has a good array at his disposal, and he's just iconic, so there you go. Uh, Alright, that is Gen 1, so on to Gen 2. Before we start this one, I made a great decision not ranking them based on other spots on the list, because it is making this go by a lot quicker and a lot easier. So anyway, on to Gen 2. We have Hoot Hoot and Noctowl. Um, I think Hoot Hoot's probably a C, and Noctowl maybe is a B, but I'm gonna go with C. Again, th these might change later on, but... um. Yeah, any- uh, here, Okay, having a thought now. I might move Spiro down to D. I'm having thoughts now. And maybe Pidgey, but we'll keep it like that. But Knockdown and Hoodoo are definitely a C tier. Uh, Ladyba, another alright Pokemon. I would say maybe a C, and then Ledian's probably a C as well. Um, or maybe... Mm, you know what? Nah, we're, we're gonna keep him there, but I'm gonna make a change right now. I'm moving Doduo down to, down to D. I don't know. I'm having second thoughts now, but... Excuse me. But yeah. Um, Crobat? Probably an A. I've always loved Crobat. Um, like, just... I don't know. Crobat's one of those Pokemon that, like, maybe at first you're not a huge fan of, and then down the line you grow to love, and that's kind of the case for me, because I wasn't a huge fan of Crobat during the Gen 2 days, but over time, I've grown to really love Crobat. Love the typing, it's poison flying, it just looks cool, like, you know? It's a cool Pokemon, so... Love Crobat, give him that guy an A tier. Uh, Togetic. Um... Hmm... Do I love Togetic? I love Kiss, but do I love Tick? Um... I'm gonna say I don't love him that much, so probably a C for me. Uh, we'll reach Kiss in a bit, but, um, yeah, I love Kiss, so that's enough, that's a spoiler, sorry. Um, Natu and Zatu. I would say Natu's probably a D, and then, very, very hot take here, I'm moving Zatu to B for one reason. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which we are counting the side games, just so you guys are aware. Like, his role in the first dungeon game, loved it, loved his character in that game. So, kind of biased take right there, but Zatu for me is a B. I love the whole, like, fortune telling he's got going. You can see the future and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we're, we're putting Zatu at B. Uh, Hoppip? 
Mmm, probably a D. Not a huge fan of him. Skip Bloom, uh, same kind of thing. Well, mm, I would say probably a D as well. Jump Puff's probably a C, at least. Um, but I don't know. I just, I don't have, uh, any strong feelings for Hot Bip or Skip Bloom. Jump Puff's okay. But this line's just kind of there for me. Not really one that I would want to, um, say I like a whole lot or love. But, it's alright. Um, Yanma is definitely a C. Um, isn't, doesn't Yanma have a dex entry where it's like, it can flap its wings like super fast and destroy like entire windows from like cities and whatnot? That's pretty terrifying, but anyway, uh, Yanma's definitely a C. Uh, Murkrow? Uh, might drop a hot take here, I might put Murkrow in D tier. I might put him in D tier. I think Murkrow is very annoying and not in the good way. Um, I've never liked Murkrow, honestly. I like Honchkrow, but not Murkrow. So, sorry Murkrow fans, D tier for Murkrow. Uh, Gligar though, definitely a fan favorite from Gen 2. I would say probably a B. Um, Gligar will be on the list somewhere, I won't say where, but um, yeah, for me Gligar is a B. Uh, Delibird... I do like the whole gifting things got going on here. That's pretty cool. Um, the ice flying typing is pretty cool as well. Um, but other than that, not really one that stands out to me. So probably a C for Deli Bird. Um, Mantine though, like, if you guys know I'm from Florida, I love Manta Rays. Kind of a biased take. I'm putting this in at least a B tier. Um, so, yeah, again, I... I mentioned this uh, before, but um, we're not basing previous tier lists on my ranking for this tier list. So I might have put a Mantine higher, I don't know, but we're judging it based on that typing. So just a flying type for this list. So yeah. Uh, Alright, I think that's... Oh no, wait, we got more. Uh, Skarmory. I like Skarmory, probably a B. Uh, Lugia is definitely an S, one of my favorite legendaries of all time. Uh, Ho-Oh, same thing, definitely an S. And, uh, that is Gen 2. Alright, on to Gen 3. Alright, taking to the skies for Gen 3. Here we go. We got Beautifly. Probably the same as Butterfree, honestly. But, uh, I'll put that in B tier. Uh, Tailo and Swellow. Swellow's probably a B and Tailo's probably a C. I like the whole blue, red, white it's got going on there. Very American. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Wingle, definitely a C. Pelipper is probably a C as well. Um... Again, pretty cool coloring, but doesn't really stand out that much compared to other to yeah compared to other flying types in this list. But yeah, uh, Masquerade. Hmm. Is it a hot take to say I love Masquerade? Not a whole lot, but I kind of like the whole uh, little wing patterns got going on there. Um, yeah, probably a hot take, but I'm gonna put this guy in B tier. I gotta say, I like Masquerade a lot, so. Like, just those eyes and its wings. Like, come on. You can't, like... It literally scares Pokemon like that. Like, similar to how, like, real-life butterflies can do that. Pretty cool. Uh, Ninjask, absolutely an A. Like, not quite S-tier, but it's right there. I love Ninjask. Like, Ninjask and Speed Boost can be pretty good if you know how to use it. At least in the old Pokemon days. So, uh... There you go. Enough said. <laughs> um, Swablu and Altaria. Hmm... I would say Altaria is definitely a B. Swablu is probably a C. I do love the cotton thing it's got going on, though. That's, like, one of my favorite, like, flying-type gimmicks in terms of, like, design. But, eh. I'm gonna keep it there, I think. So, Swablu at C and Altaria at B. Tropius, though. You guys know I've always loved Tropius. I love the whole dinosaur gimmick. I love the, the little leaf wings and the little bananas it's got going And, sorry. The bananas that are coming out from its neck... Um, love that, so, very, uh, very popular Pokemon for me, so, uh, love Tropius, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Salamence, hmm, it's either an A or an S, I know that, but which is it? Do I love Salamence that much to put it in S? <sighs> I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna say yes. OG Salamence for sure is an S. However, I would say that um, Mega Salamence is probably an A. Not quite an S. Um, I, it's a, it's a cool design, but I'm not a huge fan of, like, 
some parts of it. Like, the the thing down here where it's like, it's like laying on the little harness looking thing doesn't really look right to me. I don't know. But I love the expanded wings. I love how it's like a little crescent moon shape. So that's cool. But not quite on the tier of uh, OG Salamence. So probably an S for me. Or sorry. S for OG Salamence and A for Mega Salamence. Uh, Rayquaza, both forms. For sure an S. One of my favorite Mega Evolutions and favorite legendaries of all time. So that's a definitive S for, Ray for uh, Rayquaza. And uh, Gen 3 is done. So on to Gen 4. Okay, so first up we have uh, Starly. I think I rated this a C or a D back in the day. I'm gonna, or sorry, during the normal type tier list, um, not that long ago. Um, but I'm gonna say Starly is probably a C. Staravia is probably a C as well, and then Star Raptor is definitely an A for me. One of my favorite normal and flying types of all time. It can learn close combat. Like, come on, that's enough said. Uh, Mothim. Uh, see, here's the thing. I think Butterfree and Beautifly have that stain power in terms of popularity. Motham, not so much. Like, Motham is, like, rarely even talked about by anybody. And by me, too. So, sorry, Motham. Gonna put you in D tier. I'm sorry. They're, like... I, I feel like they were going for something that was meant to be a, uh... Like, a callback to Beautifly or Butterfree, but they just couldn't really make it stand out that much, so... Yeah, probably a D from Motham. Uh, Combi? Mm, you know what? I, I like... See, here's the thing. I hate bees. You guys know this, but I love Combi and Vespaquin. So, for me, they're probably a B. Not by a whole lot, but, um... Design-wise, they're pretty good, so I'll give them that. Uh, Drifloon and Drifblim. Drifloon still has one of the, like, scariest dex entries of all time. This guy literally kidnaps children who are bad and, like... You know, takes them away somewhere, so that is disturbing, but, um... Uh, I would say for me, they're probably a B tier. I, I love their whole gimmick going on. They're like two hot air balloons, and the coloring looks pretty good. Love the little, uh, clouds on top of their heads. Uh, purple and yellow looks good on them. So, um... Yeah, it might be a hot take, but they're, they're B for me. Uh, Hans Crow's definitely a B. I, I hate Murkrow. I said that earlier, but I do like Hans Crow a lot. Um, so that's a B for me. Uh, Chatot. Oh my god. Dude, the memories of recording my voice on Chatot for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Like, I didn't say bad stuff like some people did, but I had some pretty good voices I made for Chatot, and they were all, like, pretty good. That was one of the best features of any Pokemon game, is letting you, like, ha like give Chatot your own voice. So, that's pretty cool. So, for me, definitely an A for Chatot. Uh, Mantike. Hmm. So, Mantine's a B. I would say Mantike's a D. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of Mantike. I'm sorry. It, it is just... It's it's such a downgrade from Mantine, in my opinion. I don't know. It's it's cute, but that's all it's got going for it. So, D for Mantike. Sorry, guys. Uh, Toga Kiss is probably an A. <laughs> Sorry, I said that kind of weird, but, um, yeah, Kiss is definitely an A. I, I enjoy Togetic a little bit, but Toga Kiss, man, like, I don't know, it just, it, it's such a happy and carefree Pokemon. Like, it's like, it, it's like Chansey, right? But it's a flying type, basically. Like, if you love Chansey, you'll love Togekiss, pretty much. So, there you go. Um, Yen Mega, oh, I love Yen Mega. I love the coloring, I love the cry, I love the wings, I love just the body shape. It's a great Pokemon, all the way. You know, Mega's definitely an A. Uh, same as Gliscor, too. Like, I gotta say, Gen 4 really nailed a lot of the, like, um, further evolutions for already existing Pokemon. Like, Gliscor, and Mega, and Togekiss, and, um... Yeah, there are some that aren't that great, like, like, like Licky, but, uh, going off track again, sorry. Um, but yeah, A for Gliscor, and then we got Rotom. Okay, we still got three more. Uh, Fan Rotom... Not one of my favorite Rotom forms, but I do like it, so put that bad boy in B tier. Um, Shaman's definitely uh, an A tier because, uh, you know, uh, Explorers, Explorers of Sky, Mystery Dungeon, love it, so that's kind of biased, but yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Flying Type Arceus, I mean, they're all kind of the same for me, right? Like every Arceus form is, so probably a B. So there you go. 
All right, Gen 4 is done. On to my favorite gen. You guys know this. It is Gen 5. All right, so quite the list of flying types for Gen 5, but uh, here we go. We got Padov, Tranquil, and Unpheasant. Uh, or, yeah, both forms of Unpheasant, the male and female form. Uh, I would say P-Dove is probably a C for me, uh, right, right alongside Starly in them. Uh, Tranquil is probably a C as well, and then a Pheasant would probably be, um, oh god. I think I rated this in terms of, or during the normal type tier list, but, uh, male form is a B. Female form is probably gonna be a, uh, a C. And again, not because I hate female Pokemon, it's just the design is better. Like, blame the company for making them like that, but yeah, so rate that. Also, sorry for the list. I'll fix that when I can, but uh, we're gonna continue. Uh, Woobat? Mm. Actually, can I fix it? Here, let's do this. Here we go. Uh, Woobat's probably a D for me, honestly. Uh, Swoobat's just barely a C. I don't know. I, I like the coloring. I love the little heart noses they have, but something doesn't really click with me when it comes to these two Pokemon. I don't know what it is, but... They're, they're fine, but... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like Zubat better. Personally. I mean, they rhyme, so there you go, but... Zubat's better for me, so, yeah. Uh, Sigilyph? I like Sigilyph. Definitely a B. I love the coloring, love the, um... Just his design is great. Like, he's not talked about a whole lot, in my opinion, which is kind of a crime. I love Sigilyph, though, so definitely a B. Um, Archaeops is definitely an A, I think, for me. I've always loved Archaeops as, like, one of the best fossil Pokemon out there. Uh, Arcan, not so much, but probably still a B. Um, great coloring. Uh, love the rock and flying type typing that it has. Uh, but yeah. Ducklet, definitely a D. Swan is probably a C. Um, similar to Wubat and Swubat, just, you know, doesn't really vibe with me all that much. Um, Swana is an, I don't know, I think Swana might be a B for some people, but for me, it's kind of a C. I don't know. It's just... what When I think of flying types, like, these Pokemon in C and D are ones that I don't think about a whole lot, and don't really find that appealing. But Swana is almost a B, but not quite there. Uh, Emolga is definitely a B, though. Emolga is cute. It's a flying squirrel. It's electric and flying type. I love it to death. Iris has one in the anime. Love Emolga. Emolga! <laughs> Love it. So, definitely be free, Moga. Uh, Rufflet? Hmm. Not gonna lie, guys. I don't like Rufflet. Like, at all. So, probably a D. Uh, Braviary, though, is definitely an A. That is for sure an A. Um, but yeah, Rufflet, like the... I don't know. It, It's like a bird inside of a bird's skin. I don't really know if I like that concept. That's... That might be the biggest turnoff for me in terms of Rufflet's design. It's just, you know, just make it like, I, I don't know. I can't really describe it that well, but uh, yeah, D for Rufflet, A for Braviary. Um, Hisuian Braviary is not as good as Braviary original, but it's probably still an A for me. Uh, oh god. Oh man. Okay. I might get some hate for this. I might get some hate for this. Bullaby is taking the lowest spot on this list. I hate the whole diaper thing it's got going on. I don't like it. It's kind of cute, but I'm not a huge fan of Bullaby at all. I, I hate Bullaby, so definitely like a D minus. Almost an F if I even had an F tier, which I won't. But I hate Bullaby. I'm sorry, guys. Mandibuzz um, is just barely a C, but like it's on the verge of being a D plus. Like, yeah, they're just not... They're not for me. I'm sorry. I don't like them that much. Uh, Alright, now we got the uh, the legendary uh, flying trio from Gen 5. We got Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Um, I would say the OG forms for all of them are probably all a B tier. So I'll put them there. Um, the Therian forms, though, are for sure an A. And um, part of me thinks that um, Landorus, Therian form might just barely be an S tier. Um, nah, it's, it's an A. They're all A tier. Like, man, what are the best, like, changes for any, like, new Pokemon form? These are all great. I love these forms so much, so we'll, uh, we'll keep it there. So, OG forms, B tier, Therian forms, A tier, 
And, uh, alright, that is Gen 5, so on to Gen 6. Alright, this one should be quick because there's not a lot of flying types in Gen 6, surprisingly. So, uh, let's go with Fletchling, and I'm gonna say Fletchling's probably a C. Fletchling there is probably a C, and then Town Flame is absolutely gonna be, like, maybe a high B. We'll put him in B tier because we're not doing that, remember that. Um, alright. This list has every form of Vivian on it. Like, look at this. That is every form of Vivian, like 16 forms or something, I think. Maybe almost 20. Um, I think they're all great looking, I gotta say. I, I don't think one stands out that much compared to the other ones, except the Pokeball form, which isn't on here, uh, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, speed run. They're all gonna be probably, I would say B for me. So we'll, we'll put them all there. I just, if... If the Pokeball one was on this list, it'd probably be a, uh, a B or, like, an A tier, maybe, but the other forms, they're just kind of, they're, they're good. So I'll give them all a B tier. That is a lot of spots taken up. Holy hell. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. It's, like, almost the entire second half of the B tier. Like, what is this? Look at this. <laughs> Fucking Vivian, man. Jesus. Wait, wait till the bug type tier list. Jesus. Alright, anyway, moving on. We got, uh, Halucha, definitely an A tier. Love Halucha. One of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 6, easily. Um, Noibat? I would say it's probably a C. Uh, Noivern is definitely, maybe, just barely... Maybe A? Nah, it's gonna be B. Go in my gut here, it's probably a B. Um, love the little sound wave ears it has, that's cool. Um, but yeah, not one of my, like, absolute favorite dragon types, or, or, I guess, flying types in this case out there, but, uh, yeah. Uh, alright, finally, Veltal. Love you, Veltal. Definitely an A tier. Um, I knew right away when I picked X and Y, I was picking Y, because Eveltal is a lot cooler than Xerneas. Um, some might not agree with that, but I think Xerneas is the inferior Pokemon to Eveltal. Just my opinion. Uh, alright, that is Gen 6, so on to Gen 7. Alright, we are nearing the end here. Uh, not quite, but we're getting there. Uh, anyway, we got Rowlet. You guys know I love Rowlet. Definitely an A tier. Love Rowlet so much. Uh, Dartrix. Don't like him a whole lot. He's probably a C. Um, Picky Peck. Hmm. I would say Picky Peck is a C. Trumbeak is probably a C. Toucanon, though, is definitely a B. Just barely. Like, I, I love how its beak is, like, different colors of, like, red, orange, and yellow. That's kind of cool. Uh, but it's not that great. But it's just barely a B for me. Uh, the Oricorio forms. Alright, here we go. So we got the Fire-type one, which is the Biolay form, I believe, right? Um, that one is probably a B. I would s Actually, you know what? They're, they're all B. They're, they're all great in their own way, I would say. Yeah, I, I, I do think red is the best one, in my opinion. But, I like all of them. So, we'll give them all a B. Uh, ooh, they got both Minior forms on here? Look, look at that. There's both Minior forms. Um, hmm. I guess this one's probably a D, because, like, we can't really see anything. It's just a basic rock Pokemon, and it's kind of boring to look at. Uh, when it's revealed, though, it's probably, uh, probably a C. Like, maybe a high C if I was doing this list the old way, but we'll put it at a C. Um, Celesteela, hmm, not one of my favorite Ultra Beasts out there, I mean, not quite where Buzzwool would be, or, uh, Kartana for me, um, but I do like Celesteela, so we'll give that guy a B, I would say, um, he's a Steel Flying type, right, and his area in Ultra Sun and Moon is pretty cool too, so I'll give him that, uh, but yeah, not one of my absolute favorite UBs out there, but he's still a cool Pokemon. Uh, alright, that was a quick Gen 7, so on to Gen 8. Alright, Galar region, we got Rookie D. Um, I would say Rookie D is similar to Fletcher in them, so probably a C. Corvusquire is probably a C. Corviknight, though, I love Corviknight. Um, might be a bit of a hot take, but probably an A for Corviknight, and then also an A for G-Max Corviknight. I don't know, like, I've seen a lot of Steel and Flying types out there, and I feel like Corviknight is definitely one that kind of resonates. Uh, even more than Skarmory, honestly. But, uh, yeah, it, it's a really good one, so I'll give that guy an A. 
Uh, Cramorant. Hmm. Okay. Might be another hot take. Possibly. I'm gonna go with Bean. Here's why. He can legit spit out a Pikachu for an attack. I think I mentioned that during the water type tier list before, but, um... Like, that alone makes him so much cooler than he should be. Like, he can s put a Pikachu in his mouth and then spit it at the opponent as an attack. Like, how can you not love that? So, definitely a B for Cramorant, just because of that one thing, but, yeah. Uh, alright, now we got, uh, Enamorous. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, where's the other ones? Uh, okay, there they are. Enamorous might be my new favorite of the, uh, the Gen 5 Flying Legendary Pokemon. I think they might be. I think he might be. I love his design so much. Like, all the way. I love his Therian form, too. His Therian form doesn't really quite resonate like, like his OG form does, but... I don't know. I love the pink and red. I love the heart on top of its head, too. It's a great design. I mean, some people hate it, which I get. Like, I've heard the ugly words used on, a, uh, Or, sorry. I've heard it called ugly on social media plenty of times. But for me, I love Enamorous. I do. I'm gonna say. So, uh, yeah. Definite A for me. Maybe a B or C for some people, but A for me. Uh, alright. On to the last gen being Gen 9. Okie dokie. Gen 9. So we got, uh, all forms of Squawkabilly. Um... I mean, it's just a color difference, right? I mean, their hair is cute, you know, it's it's very, uh, elvis -y, but, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say I love them, but I do like them somewhat, so we'll put them in C. Uh, my favorite's probably the blue one, because I like blue a lot. Um, but yeah, they're just good, not great for me. Uh, Watchroll is probably a C, because it is an electric and flying type, which is a really good typing to have. Um... And then Kilo Watch was probably a C as well. Um, I think didn't uh, Roy in the anime just get a, a Watch Roll, I believe? And uh, that's cool, so there you go. Uh, Bombardier, who I believe is one of the uh, the Titans you fight in Scarlet and Violet, right? One of the Titan Pokemon out there. Uh, doesn't really resonate with me, I'm going to say. So uh, probably a C for Bombardier. Flamigo, oh, you guys have no idea. I have wanted a dolphin Pokemon, which we got with Finizen, and a Flamingo Pokemon, because I love, I'm from Florida. We do not have enough representation in terms of Pokemon, like Flamingos and Dolphins, and we finally got that in Gen 9. I love Finizen, and I love Flamigo. It's a fighting type, too. Like, I was not expecting a fighting type Pokemon for Flamigo, or, or sorry, a fighting typing for Flamigo, but I like it, so definitely an A. And then finally, oh, Iron Jugulus. Okay, here's the thing. It's an A because I feel like, I feel like the... Well, no, wait. Mm, hold on. Hold on, my, my brain's telling me things. Is it S tier? Is it better than the ones that are in high... That are like... W that would be high A tier if I was doing this tier list the old way. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna say yes. It's an S. Might be a hot take again, but it's an S for me. You guys know I love High Dragon, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. And I had the best reaction when I found this in Scarlet and Battle during my playthrough. I won't show it here, obviously, but go watch my playthrough of the uh, of Area Zero, which is the final part of my playthrough, I think. And I was like, I hope there is a future High Dragon. I literally called it, and I was so happy when I found that it was true. So, there you go. Iron Juggles is, is an S for me. And uh, that is the tier list. Man, you guys, these lists do not get any easier to make. I gotta think about so many things during these kinds of, uh, Pokemon typing, ranking tier lists, and, you know, I have to make, like, decisions that are gonna hurt some people, but again, it's just my opinion, my tier list. But, uh, there you go, that's my flying type tier list. So, uh, there is your final look, all the D tier, we got C tier, we got B tier, we got A tier, and we got S tier. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, let me know in the comments what should I rank next for typings. Maybe fairy typing, maybe bug typing, maybe electric typing. Uh, let me know and I'll see what I pick next. But, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!